Hey guys, today's video is about my skincare routine. Right now I'm 17 and I'm a high school student, so my main goals for my skincare routine are one, to deal with acne, two, to prevent myself from getting skin cancer, and prevent signs of aging further down the line, although that's not really a big concern right now since I am pretty young. If your skin type is pretty similar to mine, then hopefully these recommendations will be helpful, and if not, hopefully you can at least learn a little bit about skincare based on the research that I've done. Of course, I'm not an expert in this by any means, so I'll link some of my favorite resources where I've learned a lot about this in the description. A little bit more background about my skin type. I have combination skin, which is pretty normal on most of my face, except I get pretty oily, especially during the summer, on my forehead and my nose. Um, I don't really have huge issues with acne, and I never really have. I just get some pimples on my forehead and blackheads on my nose, and this one really annoying recurring pimple between my eyebrows. Also, sometimes in the winter, it's quite dry in California, so I get flaky skin on the sides of my face, but that hasn't really been an issue ever since I started my helpful skincare routine, which has also um, not necessarily completely gotten rid of my acne, as you can probably see, but it has reduced how visible it is and helps the pimples that do pop up go away a lot faster. So let's get started. In the morning, I start by washing my face and the face wash that I use is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. It includes a lot of moisturizing ingredients like glycerin and panthenol, while also still having some pretty effective surfactants, which are cleaning agents. I really like this cleanser because it's pretty gentle. It effectively cleans off my face without stripping it entirely of moisture and making it feel really dry and uncomfortable. And when I use this in the evening after I come home from cross country or track and my face is just like really dusty and covered in grime, it definitely cleans off all of that not so good stuff. And next after that, I use sunscreen, which is arguably the most important thing in my skincare routine. Number one, because sunscreen protects you from UV rays and UV rays cause sunburns. I don't really burn, but you know, if you do, it's important to not get those, and it prevents you from getting skin cancer, and nobody wants skin cancer, so that's really good. Protecting your skin from the sun's rays is just really helpful for preserving the health of your skin and preventing any premature signs of aging, like wrinkles or sunspots or discoloration. In the past, the main SPF protection in my skincare routine has been the Mario Badescu Oil-Free Moisturizer with SPF 30. My skin is quite sensitive and I guess I'm allergic or reactant or something to a lot of sunscreen ingredients, especially for chemical sunscreens. But this was just like the first one that I tried that didn't mess me up, so I just kept using it. But now I'm transitioning out of using this one because it contains a fragrance and I'm now really starting to notice how strong it is and it's kind of annoying and it just costs a lot more than I'd like to be paying for a sunscreen that I use every day. The one that I'm starting to use instead is a sunscreen rather than a moisturizer with SPF and it is the COTS or C-O-T-Z SPF 40 for sensitive skin. This is a physical sunscreen that uses zinc oxide rather than a chemical sunscreen and I find that I'm less allergic to physical sunscreens and I know I'm not allergic to this one, so that's pretty good. If you'd like to know more about physical versus chemical sunscreens, I'll link some resources in the description. Although this is labeled as a sunscreen and not a moisturizer, it still contains quite a few helpful moisturizing ingredients such as c 1215 alkyl benzoate caprolyl glycol and glycerin. Usually in the morning, I don't feel that my skin is that dry anyways, so the moisturizing benefits are helpful, but it's not the most essential thing. A lot of physical sunscreens will leave a white cast, but on me at least, I'm not really that dark, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. It doesn't leave a white cast, yay. So that is what I do in the morning, and then in the evening, I start out with the Yes to Tomatoes Detoxifying Charcoal Facial Cleanser. This is the main like anti-acne part of the routine because this cleanser contains 1% salicylic acid. So salicylic acid is a chemical exfoliant and if you'd like more info about 
chemical versus physical exfoliation. I will link some resources in the description. But basically, the way that salicylic acid works is that it's a BHA or beta hydroxy acid, and it goes inside the linings of the pores and just cleans out the really gross stuff that causes acne. And this particular cleanser also contains spheres of jojoba oil. Those are the little black circle dot thingies that you see in there. And jojoba oil is really beneficial for acne as well because it regulates sebum production. And sebum is the oil that your skin naturally produces. It's good mostly to moisturize your skin, but when it gets out of control, as it often does when you're a teen because of hormones and things, it can like clog up your pores and cause acne. And then after that, I use the same Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser that I mentioned in my morning routine. And lastly, I moisturize my face with the Pacifica Dreamy Youth Cream. In my subjective opinion, I find that this is very helpful and effective in moisturizing my skin after I wash it and take a shower. It contains a couple of oils that are helpful for regulating sebum production, just like jojoba oil, such as grapeseed oil and sunflower seed oil. And if you'd like to know more about using oils, I will link another resource in the description. Just check the description for everything that I'm not, um, coherent enough to discuss in my video. These oils also are shown to have some antioxidant properties, and it also has magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is vitamin C, another well-known antioxidant. And of course, this moisturizer is jam-packed with moisturizing ingredients. This includes glycerin, ethyl hexyl palmitate, cetyl alcohol, shea butter, aloe leaf juice, panthenol, and hyaluronic acid. And that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more of my videos, although they generally are not really about this topic, I will have some linked in the description and on screen. I upload new videos every Monday, and my Instagram is at studyquill, where you can see photos of my notes and bullet journal. See you next time!